20 minutes before the hour, Hot Rod Lincoln, George Volman, the Automotive Insider at Volman Ford. He's right there off of 96, just a little bit west of Lansing, just a little bit east of Grand Rapids in the cool city of Portland. Good morning to you, Mr. Automotive Insider. Hey, good morning, Michael Patrick. How are you this morning? Not too bad. I don't know if you heard me just talking about the new results about the color of cars. For the 10th straight year... This particular color has been the most popular vehicle color on the planet. I'll put you on the spot. Can you name it? Yeah, it's probably silver. Absolutely right. Hi-ho silver is, in fact, it's growing. It's 31% of new cars and trucks are silver. That's up from 25% in 2009 and 20% in 2008. Seems to be growing in popularity. Why silver so popular? I don't know. I mean, silver is basically a lot of acrylic and a little bit of black. I mean, that's, they mix that together. It is also one of the hardest colors to match if you end up uh, in an accident and have to get panels replaced and repainted. Uh, so, you know, I don't understand it, but, uh, uh, you know, silver's popular where we're at, uh, but also is black. I mean, black is also uh, one of the most popular colors as well. Funny you, should, I would guess. funny you should say that, because right behind uh, silver and gray and charcoal, they're all like, you know, considered the same. Uh, then comes black and white, tied for second place. So which of those colors is the hardest to keep clean or at least look clean? Well, the, the, the black one, but everything in life is the law of contrast. So when you have a black car and it's all cleaned up, it just gives you such satisfaction. Yeah. That's the reason why people like black cars. But how come you're saying it's tough to keep a black one looking clean? You would think that black would be easier because it's dark. Actually, uh, white is probably the easiest one because even when it's dirty, it looks somewhat clean. Huh. You wouldn't think it's that, would you? Be, yeah, it's amazing because people will actually clean a white car and say, I didn't realize they had that much dirt on it. Huh. Um, white, or, uh, white and black second place. Red comes in third place with 11%. Everybody thinks that when you get a red car, you're going to end up with speeding tickets, don't they? Right, yeah, red, uh, that uh, uh, sonic blue, and, and then yellow. <laughs> if the cops just look for them, they look like they're going too fast. <laughs> um, blue comes in fourth uh, with 10% of the cars, and then you've got natural tones like brown, tan, gold, orange, and yellow rounding out the uh, top five there. Right, and, and the only smack against brown is, is there's an expression in the car business, and they call it stay around brown. They don't sell real well. I wonder, well, I guess I guess we see here there aren't that many of them anyway, but wonder why brown doesn't sell that well. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, generally uh, you got stay around brown and old man tan. That's kind of the smack in the car <laughs> business. You know what, though? Uh, when you think about it, people, when they're buying a car, they want to be excited by the purchase, too, don't they? And obviously, maybe if it's just an earth tone kind of car, it doesn't do much for someone. And that may be, and it may be that they want the earth tone because they can keep it cleaner or, or whatever, but ultimately the first part of any type of transaction in the car business is an exciting one where people get emotionally hooked up with their cars. And then, of course, the arithmetic comes in and, and they get back to earth and, and they negotiate the deal. But if we didn't have that emotion, um, it'd be just like selling a white washing machine, you know what I mean? Yeah, an appliance. Do you know what the yeah. least popular color of uh, all the cars uh, is? You know what, I, I, it'd probably be, uh, even though this would probably upset the MSU fans, it's probably dark green. Absolutely right. Green is the, is the least popular color. Now, why is that? I, you know what, I don't know. Um, I know that Chrysler put an awful lot of green on minivans. I know that uh, we've had green trucks, and people, you know, especially MSU fans, they love that color because they can put the uh, the Sparty emblem on it, and, and it makes it look like they're a big fan. Yeah, I mean, Jim Eppolito has that uh, green Eldorado Cadillac with the white roof that he drives to uh, tailgate parties, and he had it in front of our Gillespie Group storefront studio here when Spartans opened up. It was eye-catching for sure, but Hoot McInerney told me once that uh, green cars, the resale is terrible on them too. I guess that would stand to reason, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, if it's the least popular, obviously it, it, that all flows to the used car uh, marketplace. There's no question. So I understand in this morning's news uh, the Transportation Department has toughened up the five-star safety ranking, and uh, they tested 34 cars. Only two of them got the uh, five-star rating, and they figure because the technology is better, the rating system should be tougher. Is that fair? 
Well, you know what? The thing is, is this, is that they're going to try to march that up to the point where people can survive virtually any crash. And, you know, what will happen now is the manufacturers will go back and take a look at the test. They'll probably marry it with what the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is doing and come up with uh, their own way of doing it so that they, they get the stars. Uh, but but the, the real issue, and, and Toyota actually said this in a press release, is our cars are safe, and we look at it from an overall safety standpoint, uh, and ultimately the customer has to be the judge. So they're not going to play to the, the government, um, uh, you know, testing per se, but they're going to make sure that their cars are the safest possible. Same with Ford and GM and so on. Ford is going about some interesting uh, ways of uh, promoting their new Ford Focus. It's going to be a Facebook, social media kind of thing, reality TV. They're going to let people drive it, make it like a contest. You have to be creative these days in the auto business, and so we'll keep our eyes on that. You have uh, vehicles for sale. How are How is business at uh, Volman Ford? Uh, business was pretty good last month. Um, I, we had a, a, a real good new car month. We were up 300% over wow. the cash for clunker hangover, uh, which was September of last year. And, uh, you know, we're right now it's, it's an issue of sourcing automobiles. That becomes the issue. I mean, if we have them, we can sell them. Source your vehicles from George Volman, the Automotive Insider. He's a straight shooter. He'll answer your questions, even if you just want to call and ask him a thing or two. TheAutomotiveInsider.com, VolmanFord.com. He's on I-96, the cool city of Portland, right off the freeway, just west of Lansing, east of Grand Rapids.